We are here today with Jeffrey from JR Garage. <laughs> I've known Jeffrey, I don't even know how many years. 2016. When you bought the Audi S6, I drove that. Five years, over five oh, years. Five. It doesn't feel like it, it feels longer than that. Flies. It absolutely wow. flies too. But we are gonna be talking about what it's like to own a Fisker Karma. Mm. Argu mm. Arguably the, the strangest, most unique vehicle you guys have. Definitely. Which is a difficult argument because everything, you like, some of the fun cars aren't here. Like, right, everything right. you have is unique and cool. Yeah, and he's like, I want to film with uh, one of the cars. Yeah, like, let's what, do what, what can we do something with? I'm like, okay, he's. you've had some of my cars on your channel yes. already. Like, I'm like, okay, if we want to do something different, why not the Fisker? Yeah, let's do the let's Fisker. Let's debunk some claims and talk about what it's like to actually own it. So, start with the get-go, the story. Like, how did you end up with the Fisker car? Bar? Okay, well, it was just another one of those days where I was browsing the salvage auctions, and I see this thing come up, and it was local in Phoenix. I'm like... Okay, this is this is interesting. It okay. caught my attention. I'm like, it was at like ten thousand bucks bidding or something. I'm like, okay, this could go really cheap. So mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna watch this. It was a couple days before, so it went up uh, to auction. It was listed as a car that like runs and drives okay. and no body damage. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, okay, that's kind of weird, but looks like a good deal. So the auction came around yeah. and yeah, we bought it just sight unseen because it was a good deal yes. for uh, sixteen thousand two hundred bucks. Sixteen plus thousand fees, so like seventeen grand. And brand new, these were six figure cars. Oh, yeah, over. This is the top line, eco, chic, whatever, okay. vegan, yes. all the materials. Uh, yeah, $120,000 sticker price on this in 2012. Oh, and that's, now we got for that's 17. Ten, almost 10 years later for 10% of the price. Yeah, and news they were going for like mid 30s. Yeah. Um, so like, I'm like, all right, why not? Let's yes. take a flyer on this thing. We like EVs. Mm -hmm. This is not a, obviously not a fully electric vehicle, it's a hybrid, but it was kind of the first of an era. So we were like, you know what, let's try it. These yeah. get a lot of hate, but let's see what it's actually like. So styling, obviously, Henrik Fisker. Beautiful. I mean, it, it, it looks stunning. The wheels are huge, but unfortunately it looks really cool. Um, but driving-wise, power trade wise what is that like? Because it's got the Ecotech, this is the GM. Right. Little turbo four. Two liter turbo. And But that doesn't actually power the wheels. It's essentially a generator. Generator, correct. Yeah, yeah people don't, know that exactly yeah that the, the engine powers the generator which turns the wheel so you would think it's kind of inefficient but it works yeah. i guess so basically you get 50 miles of electric range then after that the engine kicks on or actually in sport mode it can kick on at any point like mm -hmm. now we're in sport mode you'll hear it so but it, like, it is running it doesn't exactly correlate with like your throttle position it, it's weird it's bizarre right yeah it's it's it sometimes has sometimes has a mind of its own okay. if we if we go in stealth mode it's pure battery okay 100 percent of the time so it's nice and quiet but if you put it in sport it gives you the maximum performance because it runs the battery like and the engine to get oh. you like the fastest acceleration possible which isn't anything mind-blowing yeah. but it's decent. It's not horrible. We we uh, the last time we were here when Owen and everybody was in here, we had oh yeah, we yeah, had, yeah. think we had five people in a four seater Fisker. We did a pull and it was torquey yeah, and it, stuff like it, that. It wasn't yeah. too bad. Yeah, you, the problem you, is the car itself was really heavy too. You, you feel that initial torque. It yeah. kind of gives you a punch, and then the engine starts to spool up. <laughs> and not going. bad. Yeah, it'll get off the line, but it's nothing like uh, any of your brand new Teslas. <laughs> but it's not. It's not trying to be. It's being different so if you want something different than the hundreds of teslas you see running around every you know week yeah. then you you may want to consider fisker and the, the lines are just beautiful that's really what draw uh, yeah. drew us to it so it has its fair share of pros and cons but <laughs> the interior is honestly one of the most unique and coolest interiors i've been in it's not spacious it's not that like ergonomically brilliant but the the textures and the materials are just so yeah. unique right very yeah I, they pride everything on being very environmentally friendly and mm -hmm. stuff so there's no leathers um the, this reclaimed is like reclaimed yeah. fire damage wood from california or something um and everything's like yeah i don't know eco-friendly and vegan uh, whatever <laughs> they got all sorts of terms but <laughs> i don't want to eat the car though that's <laughs> just an interesting one i swear somebody said vegan interior i'm like okay i've heard I that for now. yeah i think we were just talking about the fisker ocean or something with a friend and also has a vegan interior exactly now can tear headlines so yeah. so yes it is very unique whenever somebody sits in here they're like whoa like, yeah, this so is cool. this is cool design and different, steering so. wheels all like hexagonal like mm -hmm. angles and, yeah a lot of shapes little yeah. hidden easter eggs throughout and just it's held up well i mean fifty thousand miles on the interior like it, not it's, bad it's pretty nice yeah and for 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 their first go at it you know this was production number I forgot what the vin is like 300 or something so oh, they that's made real early i think they made like what 2000 1500 like 500 sank on the boat or something like that and well, no it wasn't a hurricane the hurricane oh, like hurricane? destroyed a bunch in the okay. lot in like texas or something a few hundred yeah it was bad that was bad so a lot of them actually got totaled out yeah. before they could even be owned 
Uh, but uh, the rest of them sold. I don't. I don't know how well. I guess was they, they probably struggled quite they, a bit. The price and then the fact that the Model S was out at the same time. I think a lot of people were like, "Well, why wouldn't I buy the Tesla?" So it was a hard sell. And, then, and then they went bankrupt. I guess the next year. So yeah. It was only one model year, 2012. So every fiscal you see. Karma is going to be a 2012. Gotcha. And then they rebadged them to now the, what's well, the Karma Rivero, I think that's what it's called? Yeah, yeah. which, which, ah, that's confused. another hard sell because it's, <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Like, they didn't mm -hmm. change anything. I, th I think they just updated the battery to give you a little bit more range. But and it looks a little different. It's still questionable. Yeah, yeah, they changed a couple of the body lines, but like, it's a lot of it's the same thing for still a hundred and something thousand bucks. A decade a old sell. car, yeah. Seven twenty. So um, in the uh, but in the world of Tesla, it's really hard sell Absolutely. still. So they're questionable sales performance. And then now Fisker's coming back with the Ocean, like yeah. you said. So so all right, being one of the earliest ones and being questionable, how has it been? Any problems? And what do you? Is there anything you don't like about it? Like what do you hate about owning a Fisker car? <laughs> Okay, okay, so we, we've talked about the pros, mm -hmm. but now some of the cons. Yeah. Well, as you can see, there's a blaring check engine light right there. Yeah, um, I did notice mm, that. <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that was on right when we uh, bought the car, and it turns out we scanned the codes. It's funny, we made a YouTube video on it. We scanned the codes, we're like, okay, come on, just be something dumb like an EVAP lead yeah. for the gas cap. It's like, no, replace the battery pack. We're like, what? Oh. We're like, that's horrible, no, this is... We're like, why? It works just fine. Yeah. Like, I can I can put it in battery yeah. mode and it, it'll do just fine. So I'm like, that's really weird. So we took it to like a Fisker expert. Yes, those do exist. There's one here in Phoenix, Drambo Motors, okay. I think, and he specialized in them. He scanned it and he's like, yeah, your check engine light's on because it's below like the battery capacity sh strength on your pack. Okay. So it only um, gives you about, the, the cells are at like 50%. Okay. capacity so really on a full charge instead of 50 miles of battery we get like 20 25 so that's why the check engine lights on it's because it's below their minimum okay. strength on the battery pack so yeah if we wanted to we could go in and replace the battery but it's just like why put in the money just you have it as a novelty it, mm -hmm. it gets you 25 miles mm -hmm. and then just kick on the you're gas. not planning on road tripping this no really, yeah, so it's, it's just, just an around town fun cool exactly thing. okay and i'm fine with 25 miles Do you and then have any idea how much it would cost to replace the battery oh pack? god i mean i think you'd want to buy like a used one off a crash car okay. but if you had to buy a new one if you could even find one i think i heard some rumors of like ten thousand bucks, fifteen thousand ah, okay. bucks. So pretty much the price of the vehicle. Yeah, it's just not <laughs> worth it at that point. If you can find them, but I don't yeah. think you can find them. I think one company in California though is making an extended range battery pack, okay. like an aftermarket thing. A C8 Corvette on a tow truck. Oh boy, what happened to him? Overheated. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, um, so I think somebody's trying to like develop a better battery. Okay. That would be cool. I'm but actually really curious as we go. Ooh, all right. In the future, if. Um, They'll have retrofit packs for these older EVs once, like the really, really right. uh, updated battery it, technology advances. It makes sense. It makes sense if the car is worth enough to mm -hmm. justify it. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll see on that. But that, that's the number one problem yeah. that we're facing. But other than that, problems, problems, or things I don't like. And it's big and heavy. You feel that for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, def definitely is a really heavy car what is it like, like 55 over 5,000 almost 6,000 pounds from what yeah. I remember yeah. years ago reading about it. it it definitely weighs a lot yeah. and um, actually on the topic of weight EVs did you see how much the Hummer is gonna weigh no, wasn't it? The Hummer EV is going to weigh 9,000 something pounds what? and will do 0 to 60 in 3 seconds is their estimate. That, that is a terrifying amount of mass and moment. Just, that's scary to me. <laughs> that, that defies the laws of everything. Yes. How that, does that A thousand happen? horsepower. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so, so while the wheels are one of the things I love, they're amazing looking 22 inch mm -hmm. wheels. It's a showstopper. This thing gets so much attention, mm -hmm. but the downside of that is you now have 22 inch tires, which are <gasps> impossible to How buy. How wide are they? Uh, it's like 285s or something Ooh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, okay, that's gonna but be expensive. The point is, there's only like two companies that make them. I yeah. think Yokohama makes one, and then the Eagle, or like F1, or okay. something, F F1 yeah. uh, tires, they're the ones that came on the car. Okay. So we needed the tires replaced. We're like, okay, no big deal, let's look them up. Uh, like Yokohama was sold out, and yeah. the other company, it was like 2,000 bucks, or 2,500 bucks <gasps> for a set, or something outrageous. <laughs> and we're like, oh no, this is bad. Yeah. But we ended up finding a set off, I guess, a crashed car, okay. and just swapped them off for like 300 bucks. All right, so, that, that's a good deal. Dodge that, that a, bullet. Oh my gosh, that's expensive. To, um, yeah, yeah. They're, they're the price of Lamborghini tires, basically, yeah. is what it comes down to. So that's another bad thing, but luckily, dodge that bullet. Yes other things that we don't like overall reliability i cannot complain aside from the battery having yeah. low charge like it's fine like 
it, it's always worked for us. Um, when we bought the car, the uh, something that we had to solve right away, we get down in the auction and they're like, hey, like, yeah, you, um, we by accidentally like somehow locked the car with the keys inside. I'm like, well, what do you mean? They're, uh, what do you mean you locked it? Yeah, like, yeah, you... we can't get into it now. And I'm like, I thought modern what? cars don't allow for that anymore. Yeah, like... <laughs> so it turns out the 12 volt battery died. Oh. The battery pack still had strength. Okay. So they say never, never put your keys inside your Fisker and like walk away. Cause if 12 volt battery dies, you're toast. You have to like, it was a mess. We had to take off the wheel, go in through the fender liner and like reach up to the 12 volt battery, <laughs> jump it. And then luckily we got the doors to open from there. Oh my God. And we got in the car and rescued it. But okay. that, that was another one of the issues we dealt with. But aside from that, I mean, those are just dumb little small things. Yeah. Uh, it's been, it's been reliable, which okay. I wasn't expecting. I was expecting it's everybody in the comment section. Yeah. Dude, when we bought this car, people were tripping out, going crazy. Yeah. Don't park that thing in your garage. You're going to catch on fire. Yeah, yeah. Like, burn the oh, whole thing. Thing. Oh, like, yeah, that's a horrible car. You're going to regret this. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it. For well, 17 grand, it's probably the car to get you the most looks on the road. This thing gets more attention than some of the supercars. Oh, yeah. I, because nobody ever sees them. Yeah. That the, the rarity is unmatched. I've only seen one other. Really? And, uh, yeah, it was it was driving think. on the road. Couldn't. Yeah, it's it's gonna be like once a year I'll probably see one of these. Wow, this place is packed. Yeah, pardon me for a second. I'm gonna run in and place a reservation yeah. at dinner here, and then I'll be back. I am starving, so this is good. Okay. This infotainment is. Play with it. I feel it's... like I would be very concerned about using this. It's uh, <laughs> let's just say compared to Tesla in 2012, this yeah. is not up to par. But it's not horrible, like unusable. It just uh, took five seconds for the switch between audio and climate. Yeah. It's a really yep. interesting graphic though. Like the layout is yeah. super unique. They had some cool things going. Like okay. it's a little, yeah, I don't know if you want to put a B-roll, but it's like a little wavy. Yeah. Like, wow, wow. I've never even hit the navigation button. Well, there we go. It I looks mean, like navigation from 1997. Yeah. <laughs> ah, a little exaggeration, yeah. but okay. Not horrible. Does it show like drive information? Uh, yeah, the system oh, button's system. cool. Like oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Like it shows you your average regeneration, mm -hmm. your kilowatt usage. 25 mpg. 20 yeah, I average about 20, 20, 25, 20 to 25 on gas. That's actually not city. that great. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because it's running the generator, generator yeah. ready to run the wheels, 6,000 pound car, two yes. liter engine, like 110 degree ambient temperature, like, right. yeah. But it's also not horrible. No. So it's okay, you know, if you do have to kick on the gas engine, you're you're doing all right. 20, but the problem is you only have nine gallons of fuel, I'm pretty sure, nine gallon tank. So best case scenario, you're getting 50 miles of electric, and then after that, you get 20, 20 gallons, so miles per gallon. Yeah, 200 or so. Yeah, 200 like, It can go quick if you're low on uh, that, gas. What was that noise? Low window washer fluid. See, I just filled System that up, fault detected. Add washer fluid. Wow, it pulls it up on a center screen, too. That's not bad. That's... So, I just had washer fluid, so I don't know why it's saying that. But the <laughs> systems page is pretty cool. Yeah. It shows you, like, the solar energy that you're getting off the roof. It's just like... They tried. It has solar. I forgot about all of that. Yeah, it's like, that, uh, that runs like accessory stuff. Yeah, it I does think, nothing. It like runs no. a fan. It's stupid. It's, com <laughs> it's completely. It's just for looks it's a and, to, <laughs> and to say they have solar. Like, yeah, it's, I have a solar powered car. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, they they tried. Yes. It's just A mm, for effort, C minus for execution. Perfect way to describe Fisker. Perfect yes. way to describe Fisker. Yes. They had all the right ingredients, but mm -hmm. the final result, uh, flavors did not come out yeah. as expected. Well, I guess that's why they're so cheap now. Yeah, yeah, but, um, hmm, yeah. The center dash is really cool. You have digital yeah. displays, but you have, like, the circle openings and stuff like that. Yeah, the, okay. the gauges are cool. Yeah. I'm, it's quiet? I'll give them that, too. Yes, I noticed that, too. Isolated I'll, and quiet. Definitely. On my first drive home picking it up, I'm like, whoa, this is smooth. Yeah. And quiet. And not, like, EV quiet. Obviously, you don't hear the engine as much, but it's, like, because, like, when you get rid of the engine and a lot of stuff, sometimes you hear road noise, tire noise, wind noise way more. This still feels nice and like insulated. Definitely, I was so. really surprised about that. And I just hit the hill button here, so feel us braking even with no gas or brake. So it has the regen function, or you turn it off and mm -hmm. it'll coast fully. So mm -hmm. it gives you that option, which is nice. So yeah, it the, can feel like a Tesla. One pedal driving is pretty One cool. pedal driving, One pedal yes, driving yes. is, it's almost, it became a game for me. Like, can I get to work without actually touching the brake pedal? Exactly. You kind of learn, learn and balance yeah, everything. I like love that. one pedal driving. Coming from Tesla's, that's mm -hmm. how I drive. So, Hill 2, I put it on, mm -hmm. and then I either put it on stealth or sport. So, we're completely stealth right now. Stealth mode. Silent, not bad. Stealth. And then, listen video when I kick on the engine, pull it into sport. There it goes. It does. So, you can hear it a little bit. There you, you can go. hear it on the background. But go. sometimes when it's cold and it kicks on, it makes yeah. some rattling noises. It's like, what the <laughs> heck is that? But 
when it's warmed up, you're just cruising along. It's uh, pretty smooth and good to go. We just did an oil change, five quarts of oil. I mean, pretty simple. Oh, wow. It's, it's not that bad to maintain. All right, that's dispelling the myths. Yeah, everybody probably would say this is one of the worst possible cars so, to yeah. own. Actually, my i8 gets that often too. Oh, true, true, true. Probably once a month I get somebody asking me like, what's it like to have an i8? Like, should I buy one? I'm like, well, I don't know. I had my under warranty for two years, but it was mm. brand new. But, like, I can't answer this question for you. <laughs> They're very similar in that regard. They both look incredible. Yes. They both have presence. The they both have a lot amazing. of- amazing. Yeah, but they get a lot of hate in the car community when deep down inside, they're not bad cars. Maybe yeah. a little overpriced, both Absolutely. of them, when they came out, and that's what killed Absolutely. them. This car for $100,000, oh God, heavens oh, no. Man. If this... you could buy an S-Class or this, you'd be <laughs> like, like why you... wouldn't I buy the S-Class? I've got it's... massaging seats in the Mercedes. <laughs> exactly, even for 40, 50 grand, it's mm -hmm. a no, but like 30 grand, or in this case, 17, 17. grand, heck yeah, sign me up. So that's... that's my take on it. Yeah, yeah. At 17 grand, it's almost just like, this is just so unique. I, you can't get anything more unique than that. Definitely. Unless yeah. you're going for like an ancient like Rolls Royce Super you, Cloud or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. You still have something that has Bluetooth and mm -hmm. navigation and a couple, you know, nice creature comforts and AC that works. And yeah, that's true. It's like a relatively modern car. The AC's working better than Matt's M2. Yeah, it's 100, <laughs> yeah, 10, 100, whatever it was, 109, 110, yeah. hot. And we're doing just fine, nice this and smooth. Park reverse neutral drive thing is, oh, what's the transmission? Is this direct drive then? I think Actually, there are, yeah, there's no shifting. Yeah, it's, it's just, just one EV gear. direct. Okay. Yeah. And then the more you push it, the, the more you hear the boost. Yeah. Here, we'll do one more little pull with the engine on, so you can hear that funky uh, EcoTech go to work. Just boost, 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 boost. There's a the boost. <laughs> it sort of. This might sound dumb. It sort of sounds like a plane getting ready to take off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like it just like, it, does. it just like spooled up, and you kind of just heard this like just yeah. whooshing noise. It's kind that's, of different. That's very different. Yeah. It, There's it, like leaves pressed in there. Dude, is the this functional? Is random this just, stuff. That's no, just decoration. I get, asked, I get asked every time people come in there like, how do you get in here? I'm like, bro, I don't it's know. Like it's like a fish tank <laughs> for leaves. Like it's just a little display case. Exactly. Yeah. Just super weird. I guess to push the whole we're eco-friendly. Yeah. So let's put some leaves in here and <laughs> I guess that helps sell it. So Check all the boxes. Eco-friendly side. Um, yes, yeah, back seats are pretty much useless. You have to be really short. Mm -hmm. Headroom just gets killed with mm -hmm. the slope of the car. I Cargo like capacity is non-existent, really. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it has a trunk, but you're not getting much fit in there. A couple yeah. backpacks. It's slow. I mean, for the, to make it look as swoopy and sporty and just beautiful, the roof line swoops back, but then your rear window is like, just getting a GoPro out of back there, I'm like, there's like no vertical <laughs> space. So here. small, so small. But yeah. if you have two kids or small people, small adults, shorter people, mm -hmm. You can fit back there, Those but otherwise, challenge not like us. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, it's uh, it's a little tight. And getting in is a little weird. The door is so wide. Did you notice that? How the door goes all the way up to the corridor yep. and like it's just, yep. just so many. I think things. I hit my head getting out of it last time we were out here. Uh, Dr. Nero <laughs> reviewed one of these, right? This must have been one of his quirkiest cars ever. Oh my he god, it would have been a fifty-minute long video. Actually, he did review this car, and he said he he loved it for thirty thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure he said for oh, for thirty that, yeah. for whatever he said. He said. I think he said the, the Fisker Karma is like the coolest sedan you can buy for 35 grand or whatever yeah. it was. And so he really liked it for the money and yeah. he was just in love with all the quirks. Obviously this, it's Doug. Is this salvage title? Uh, yeah, it technically what was, was salvage What was title. the end up cause? Yeah, so we, we, we mentioned this in our yeah. video, um, but you, you wouldn't believe it, it was crazy. And I, <laughs> okay, this come really full circle. That yeah. Rambo Motorsports guy who I mentioned, the expert, mm -hmm. when I brought the car to him, he's like, I know this car. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> That's a red flag. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, no, it's a good car. Just did the AC compressor, a couple other things to it. But uh, he goes, yeah, the owner was on the highway. He got a rock chip on the solar roof and it shattered the roof like really lightly. It didn't like all explode. Yeah. It just sent like shatter like little hairline cracks, yeah, hairline cracks through the whole thing. So that's why they totaled it because they couldn't find a roof. Oh my gosh. This so car was total for I mean, glass. A roof. Oh man. I guess it's good high. for to buy it, but. Yeah, yeah. So all we did we could have replaced the glass mm -hmm. and this is what we were facing in the video we're like hmm do we replace this solar roof that does nothing mm -hmm. nothing it runs the fan yeah. in when it's sitting or do we just wrap over for 50 bucks and call it a day wrap over for 50 bucks done deal we wrapped over for 50 bucks <laughs> and just call it a day so we oh, okay. solved this car's many thousand dollar problem for yeah. just 50 bucks so that's it so is this something you'd ever sell? Is it just kind of keep it just as a quirky little museum piece? Like, Christian and I have thought about it. I'm like, yeah. Christian, should we sell the Fisker? Yeah. Like, and he's like, dude, no, like, why? It's just like so cheap. You're not going to get yeah. a cooler, funkier car for the money. So 
I, I support that. I think this is something you just always keep. And when someday there's the JR Garage Museum, <laughs> it goes in there. Listen, who knows? Maybe one day, I, I just met a guy who, whose friend bought two of these brand new and like bubble wrapped them and never drove them. They have like one mile miles. Oh my because God. he thought they'd be like a collectible item and that didn't really work out. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe one day these things will become somehow collectible. If Karma actually like releases some stuff, like I was down at Prestige Imports in Miami and they're, they're like a dealer and they had all of them in the showroom. I was like, uh -huh. oh, these are still a thing. Interesting. Yeah. If, Interesting. If, if Karma gets some good karma, they yeah. may go up and tell you. Yeah. Quality fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we'll see, but until then, we'll probably just hang on to it. It's probably worth with technically the rebuild title, even though it was never in an accident. Mm -hmm. Like in the twenties, okay. twenty something grand, somebody could save ten thousand bucks yeah. because of the history, even though it's a cracked roof, like, yeah, big deal. And it doesn't leak anything inside. It still works. All the well, I mean, I don't know if it works, but all the screens are still happy. It doesn't. <laughs> they still show things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It doesn't throw up any warning lights yeah. or anything. So, what's the hand? <laughs> right? Dr. Miro's like, what is this hand on? Yeah. It's a glove box, like gloves. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, now I get that. Yeah, interesting. Man, this is bizarre. Yeah, if we were Doug here, we'd be talking about the quirks and everything, but exactly. we're yeah. just talking about what it's like to own it. I think the answer is cool. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, just, it's, it's cool. fun. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, especially, oh, I forgot one, one of the coolest parts uh, under our cool section, mm -hmm. um, among all the other things, design, all that stuff. So if the design doesn't catch your eye, it will most certainly catch your ear. You can already hear the Fisker hum oh, in the back. Oh, yeah, Remember? it's like an ethereal it, hum. It, dude, it, it's so hard to describe. Yeah. It's I call it like an alien noise. It just, <laughs> it just sounds like that. I'll give you a B-roll clip to put in, but yeah. it just makes, makes this humming noise that, that's like no other thing. So if you're driving around town, like the quarter where we go mm -hmm. for you know, dinner and stuff, mm -hmm. so imagine that all the people walking on the street, they hear this like chime, hum, yeah. alien, spaceship noise, and they look over, it's you rolling down the road, ah. and it just turns heads. Yeah. So if you don't see it, you will hear it, and it gets, that's part of the reason that's it gets so much attention. So yeah, I, I really hated like that something feature. like that. The amount of times where I'd like turn it on, be like, is it on, and leaving car shows, people wouldn't hear me. And I don't want to that's honk right. at them because I'm just trying to leave cars and coffee. And I'm like, exactly. uh, excuse me, please, can I get through? <laughs> I think that's why Fisker put it in because mm -hmm. I, I think they weren't sure if it was going to be a mandate or not. Yeah. Like they were thinking like, oh, electric cars are going to require some noise. Let's mm -hmm. just throw it in there. And yeah. here, didn't end up needing it, but still a really cool feature. So it is definitely cool. And it almost looks like exhaust pipes. It's in the back. The two Speakers? noise makers mm -hmm. are the, like in the spot of the exhaust pipes. That so. is cool. But not. But the actual exhaust pipes come out the side, if you notice it. You know, side dumps, yeah. They're like SLR McLarens mm -hmm. up in here. Or like I bought or two side exhaust in your Fisker car. <laughs> yeah, but the, the bad side of that is on a cold, you know, day when you just idling it to warm up your car, all the fumes go right inside your window. Oh, they literally dump oh, right oh, out oh, and oh, just like oh, pour oh, into your window. Good old carbon monoxide poisoning is starting yeah. to pay off in your eco-friendly vegan interior yeah, car. Yeah, people complain about that. So that that's, would be that's why I like to start in just stealth mode, get rolling and mm -hmm. then kick it on during when you're actually moving because otherwise if you're just sitting there it's getting right into the oh, cabin man, that, that would so not be uh be careful of that that would not be enjoyable well that is what it's like to own a fisker comma thank you very karma thank you very much jeffrey yeah this was fun absolutely that was uh uh good to actually go straight here that was uh good to good to chat about and you know hopefully dispel some of the hatred toward them yeah uh, i don't think they deserve quite as much hate you can hate on some of the things but Overall, but for I've 17 it. grand, come on! Like, exactly. that doesn't even buy you a Honda Civic these days. Right. Like, like, like that, that is cheaper yeah. than the cheapest new car. I mean, yeah, absolutely. You can't go wrong in my point. And our maintenance total has been 50 bucks for the wrap. Just did that uh, little muffler bleed because it was yep. actually failing. The inner muffler was uh, disintegrating internally, so uh, that was 100 bucks. And oil change. We're in this maintenance like 150 bucks since we bought it and that was about and a year ago a year 150 bucks i think i spent that in the last 12 minutes in my r8 <laughs> exactly <laughs> so overall it's been good but yeah. we'll see what the future holds for mr fisker here because yeah, i don't know you never things know things could go wrong you absolutely never know yeah well jr garage instagram youtube the tiktoks you're about to hit a million on tiktok ah, thank you, which thank is you. i love making funny videos yes it this is. one does well on tiktok does it? Yeah, because everybody's like, what is what this car? The they all comment, what is this? What is this? What is this? I feel like a lot of people might think it's a concept car. Yeah. I had people sure. ask me if the i8 was a concept car once. I'm like, nope, this is production. Like, I don't believe you. I'm like, I, exactly. I bought this. So what do you mean? Like, yeah, I love it on TikTok. And one time I rolled up to the Tesla Superchargers in it. It was mm -hmm. hilarious. One guy's like, uh, 
what is that? <laughs> and I'm like, Confusion. I've told him, oh, it's a new Tesla. Yeah. He's like, what? And then I uh, told him it's a Fisker, so that was uh, fun. That's but, yeah, awesome. It's always a good time with this car. Cool. So thank you for coming by. Absolutely. Love when you come to town. It's always fun yes. talking cars, and I hope you guys enjoyed chatting about yeah. the Fisker, because they don't really get enough to talk about no, no. on YouTube. Absolutely. So. Well, yeah. let's go get some food now, and we'll finish this video. Thanks, let's guys. Go.